Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Seven Night for the Towers and this one is a Tower 124 and right now it's at the uh, weakest point right now. So one tip for this is um, if you guys are stuck at one point uh, just because you guys can't beat it or it's not strong enough, uh, you guys can just do the gold and then uh, just by doing a gold it'll still count as trying this dungeon and so you don't have to waste... Um, you know spending these uh keys for trying out and not get uh, not being able to get uh, gold at least for korean version uh for global version unfortunately you have to try it out and then until um these numbers stack up but um what you guys can do is you guys can go on right away and then also uh just uh going out and quitting um and then going back to the page and then just constantly do it it saves a lot of time and also the number still stacks up so that's one of the ways you guys can do it while saving time and so I'm going to start right away so there's some um, annoying guys as well um, as I play I'll tell their effect but um, I'm going to add a lead just like the last time and this exact same team and I'm going to try it out so um, I guess I'll try using, um, the Jave and see how much damage it'll do. Um, that's just so much annoying, but, um, the Kwanu, the first guy in his skill, uh, the skill that he just used is that, um, the team doesn't take any kind of a, um, what is it? any kind of damage for one turn so that's why it's um, he's you know one of the very popular one as well so uh, I'm go and this one Nata is the one that also does the reflecting um, it's just really annoying and unfortunately it just killed my um, god Nia So this is this is not going so great. Uh, they're really strong. Um, obviously they're technically like level one hundred twenty four. So their stats are way higher, and you guys can see that even with my like a Jave and a lot of other guys, it just takes so long to do uh, these. Um, I guess the another way is doing a uh, death death. Um, strategy like I did for the other ones but besides that it just takes extremely long uh, and you know some of these guys like it says um, you know reduces a cooldown and things like that so it's just gruesome to go um, and you know try these things out but like I said you know the rewards are just great uh, I think this one, if I beat it, I get six star. Um, the what are those called? Uh, six star, the orbs for from the the raid. So, um, that that's that's the main reason why people try, you know, doing these because the the rewards are just awesome. But uh, like. It doesn't look so great. Um, my, who is it? Um, one of my guys already. Nia, Nia's dead already. Unfortunately, and although I'm slowly beating it, um, I guess it's not so bad, but it it just takes long. Um, and. Um, when you try like this and if you fail, it's just very gruesome. And so I think I could clear stage one. Um, I wouldn't say easily, but um, I did clear it so far. Um, and then second one, third one is basically exactly the same, except that these guys uh, just come back alive. I think my phone is lagging a little um i think it's just because of the the program and the things like that as well as the graphic settings 
So I'm going to try death. Hopefully, um, I don't think anyone was applied with death yet, but hopefully I can kill one of these guys. So um, this is Yushin. Uh, increases the magic damages of the team uh, as well as uh, mo uh, mo his skills increases the cooldown which is just really annoying as well um, so that's why most of the time I go with uh, my tank deck uh, these guys are all you know like a tanky or hit immunities and things like that so so that you know uh, my guys can last long in this um, duo because it's so long honestly I don't really like doing um, the tower as much as other ones because it just takes long but um, this is one of the place where you can also test your team out uh, just because you know so you guys can see you know how much damage or things like that where you can do so so far it looks so far it looks okay um the turns are not going so fast so should be good and let me try yeah i don't think the death effect works so in that case i guess i'll just have to just attack and try to kill them um, mainly you just use Lee and then one also from your friend as well so that's why you're getting a two Lee and if you use this as a awakened skill you could get the you know the third and fourth one as well uh, that's my main strategies in in beating this because these are almost impossible to you know burst them out because it's they're so tanky um, and then most of this at least in this um, tower you see a lot of the hit immunity guys um, such as Xiao, uh, Luri, uh, uh, Yushin and things like all like that. Um, I know if you are global users you guys probably don't know many of these guys because um, these are uh, later uh, recently I should say uh, introduced characters. So but hopefully these guys come out in global as well uh, very soon but uh, they're updating really fast um, I know in global one um, who was it uh, Alice Alice yes Alice uh, the one that is in the the shop and things like that uh, she was recently um, actually today added and I was actually pretty um, happy to see that as well um, because uh, Alice wasn't introduced into Korean version until very, I wouldn't say very recently, but um, one of the very uh, recent ones. And um, to see that um, her in global this fast um, is also like, I think, very promising that a lot of the things that will happen in the global will speed up, hopefully. So that... Um, Many uh, global users can uh, enjoy a lot of these um, more heroes and things like that. I know compared to a lot of different, I think, games for now, um, it's l lacking some heroes, in my opinion. Uh, for At least for the global version. Uh, Korean version, I think, is pretty fine uh, because they're constantly, you know, spitting out these new characters and things like that. Uh, but also the another thing is that they're um, buffing and nerfing and things like that to um, constantly use certain characters so some of the characters don't leave behind although there are some uh, ones where it's kind of like there's no use at all but you know uh, I really like how they you know buff and things like that at least so I think I could actually pretty clear this. Um, it's eight minutes, so it's very long. Just doing a tower for eight minutes is just so long and time consuming. That's why um, make sure if you guys are gonna try, uh, do it after the 
the tower these guys are at the weakest um, point um, the earlier ones though if you guys want you guys can do it when it's like um, when you did like 30 40 tries it should be still weak enough um, for you guys to kill it uh, depends on your team and things like that but that should be enough you know but if it if you're let's say for instance it's not uh, strong enough then I guess uh, what you guys can do is that um, get make sure you guys get Lee though uh, Lee will help you a lot in a lot of ones so just by having two Lee's in you know my case um, I was able to um, hopefully beat this beat this so so one time with a Lee using the skill make the life into one and waiting for another one and I think I should be able to kill it. I'll just use that one just in case if something happens. But okay. So I could finally clear it. Um, it would just, it's not that hard. Uh, as long as you have some tanks and Lee. Uh, it just takes very long. Um, just because they're so tanky. So I got the... Orb with a 32 lethal, 200 magic. I don't think 200 is as good, but um, it's still the raid item, and then you could, you know, um, rank it up and things like that as well. So um, until the next time, I guess, uh, try these and make it the weakest. Um, I will make the next video about the Tower 125 hopefully soon. I think I can be probably one per every like three or four days if it reaches 99 or 100. So until next time, uh, peace out guys.